What's up? <clears throat> Excuse me. What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, or welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. It's free channel collective reading for all signs. Cast to side to everybody in between. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, that flaw. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate with the rest. Free channel collective reading. Love you guys so much. Um, thanks for all the new subscribers. Thanks for all the love and support to the channel. Um, if you'd like to donate, there's a link below. If you're interested in personal services, links in the description box below. I have the right to refuse personal readings if I feel the energy is off. Just want to make everybody aware. They were closed for a little while, but I decided to reopen them back up for just a little while. Maybe for a week or so, okay? And then they will be closed again, okay? Um, but yeah. I love you guys so much. Daily tea for 12 3 of 2022. Hope everybody is doing fantastical, my dear. Just saying the same. Okay, so um, real quick before we get into it. Um, okay, so I've posted some postings on the community tab. Some, y'all know I love memes. Um, and yeah, the one with the chick and the... Uh, what was it? King of Asgard costume or whatever. It was hot as hell, but, and I loved it, but I'm sure she consented to have a meme put all over the world for that. Um, maybe she likes her clown fame. I don't, I mean, if I look that good in a King of Asgard costume, one day I will, but I don't look that good yet in a King of Asgard costume, but one day I will, but I wanted to make a point with that, even though I love the meme. I wanted to make a point that one should have consent and authorization if they want to display their goodies out, they can do that. But if not, others should not um, take people's images, take people's videos, take other people's sexy things and display them out because that's human and sex trafficking, if anybody needs to hear that. Because that's the point I was trying to make with that. But I do love that meme. Okay. Just want to make that clear. And I did the um, Kather Energy posting. I know a lot of you guys are in Kather Energy right now. And it's really beautiful. So I did a little um, uh, research on the Hather God. and Well, she's a goddess, actually. On the Hather Goddess. And uh, put it on the community tab if anybody's interested. Um, Hather Energy is beautiful, my dear. Okay. So, the channel message I received was, okay, so I was sitting here for a hot minute meditating, as always, and I'm picking up on someone that, uh, I, okay, so I'm picking up on someone, I heard they were about to report human and sex trafficking of you in the past. I heard it's going to be someone you would have never expected in a million years to report it. I heard they're about to go to authorities soon and quickly about it. They're getting a huge wake-up call. That's what I picked up so far. Now, I haven't picked up anything else yet, but that's what I got so far. So, of course, energies can reverse. You have to plug yourself in where you fit. Are you the one that was human and sex trafficked, um, masculine or femme? Or are you the one about, um, because whoever you are, masculine or femme, the one that was human sex trafficked in the past or attempted to be human sex trafficked because, you know, you can be human sex trafficked and be carted off, like sold in slavery kind of shit, modern slavery shit. Or you can, somebody can implant a hidden camera device in your home and take photos and videos and put you on the dark web. That's a form of human sex trafficking and you're never carted off. Or they can put a hidden camera device in your home or a listening device in your home and track your damn every move. Get the photos and videos and display them all across the uh, community. That's a form of human and sex trafficking too. When you did not consent or authorize it and they made all the money off of it. So I just want to make that clear. Um, or you can be actually kidnapped and carted off like actual modern human slavery. There's many forms. Um, there's a, on my community tab, there's a chart of the human sex trafficking chart and the money exchange. If anybody is unclear on that, okay. But, okay, so you could be this person that was human sex traffic where you were carted off a million miles or not. Or you could be the person that I heard for you, sir or ma'am, you never thought this person would basically step up and go to the authorities. So whoever this person is, for some I feel you might be this person. 
whoever this person is, sir or ma'am, the one that was human and sex trafficked, you do not expect this person to go to authorities, but they are about to go. Um, it's somebody you would have never expected to do it, sir or ma'am, okay? So for some, I feel you could be this person. You have to plug it in how it resonates. But I heard they're about to go to the authorities soon, soon and quickly. They're getting a huge wake-up call on human sex trafficking. So that's the energy I'm pulling in so far. You guys plug it in how it resonates, okay? Someone recently shaved their head. Someone's got a mohawk. And someone loves wigs. Okay. So someone recently shaved their head. Someone's got a mohawk. And someone loves wigs. So, you know, energies can reverse. So you can be over here that has recently shaved your head, got a mohawk, or loves wigs. Or over here, the one... Sir or ma'am, you never thought would go to the authorities soon and quickly. Or it could be somebody else, but I feel it's these energies. Somebody in this mix loves wigs, whether it's either one of these or somebody else. Somebody has recently shaved their head, so bald head, and somebody has a mohawk. A lot of hair energy. So you plug it in, how it resonates. And someone is recently watching your channel, and they were shocked as hell. And someone is recently watching your channel and they are shocked as hell. Well, welcome into my channel. If it's, I'm pretty sure you're probably talking about me. Or it could be another reader. How that resonates and applies. Welcome into my channel. If you're talking about me, just saying, just saying, saying. I uh, heard somebody recently um, is watching your channel and they're um, shocked as hell. So if it's me, what's up, what's up? Holla, 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 holla. Just saying, just saying, just saying. I uh, love you guys. <laughs> it might be another reader. Or they're watching you and they're recently shocked as hell. Because I, I know I pull in a lot of readers on here. So how that resonates and applies. Holla back. Just saying, just saying. Now, to me, the shocked as hell reader, if this resonates for you or for me, um, that could go, that could be a good or bad shock. And that's just the truth. Good or bad shock. Um, but some kind of shock, whether it's good or bad. And for one particular person, they're about to share your your psychic channel all across their office. About to love it. Holy shit. Okay, so okay, I'm picking up a psychic too. So um might be just saying. So when you guys are a psychic, uh, you can be a psychic investigator, social justice warrior, re uh whatever, whatever, whatever. I heard of psychic, so psychic energy, okay. Um, and uh, you have a channel because I heard uh, whoever this is psychic somebody is about to share your channel I heard all across their office because they're going to love your channel so kudos to you psychic um, whoever is about to have their channel shared all across this person's office because they love your channel holla 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 back just saying just saying I love it And someone is not going to go to Christmas functions. Who the per, the person that's not going to go to Christmas functions? Your family intuitively knows you're not going to go to Christmas functions. They're going to be pissed, but they but they know they caused the problem, and they did. Oh damn! <laughs> okay, well I just want to say this real quick before we get into that one. Okay, so y'all know I've promoted her before, but she gets, I mean, I'm not, I don't promote her anymore because she gets so many views now and her channel's just grown in a very beautiful way. So I used to promote her to help her get views and subscribers and to help her channel grow, but 
she doesn't need it anymore because I mean she hell she gets more views than I do um which is cool but I'm just saying I still watch her readings and I think she's great vision goddess tarot and she actually started off as a subscriber on my channel sub on my channel and then she started her own channel which I love seeing and there's a lot of readers that did that because I've had my channel for about two and a half years so um there's several readers that started off watching me and then created their own channel and I love that um but vision goddess tarot is one of them um and I love you you know I do ma'am but um I used to promote her a lot to help her get subscribers, to get uh, her view counts up, because I knew she was trying to grow her business, and I really believed in her, and I knew she, I know she has true abilities, and um, and she has helped me out in the past. So um, I wanted to pay it forward, but I don't promote her anymore. I don't promote anybody anymore because they have their own subscriber base, their own clientele, and there's no reason to do it. Is what I'm saying. Um, so. Saying that, I was I still watch her because um, she's very talented and she really does have true uh, gifts and abilities and skills and she's funny as hell and I love that she tells it how it is because I do too. So, anyways, I was watching her last night and <laughs> and um, one of her videos was <laughs> some about some happenings on Christmas or something. I have to go back and check the exact. Um, if y'all know, a lot of you guys know her, so you probably know the reading I'm talking about. But, anyways. She is so fucking hilarious, man. But she was talking similar to that about people not uh, wanting to show up <laughs> on Christmas because they know the fuck shit their family's done, basically. So I kind of equate that to that channel message is what I'm trying to say because I can relate to that because I will definitely be one that's not going to show up to my fucking toxic families, toxic ass events. I don't. And one of her um, suggestions, uh, not one of her suggestions, one of her commentaries on the, in the reading was. I don't care if you have a fucking million dollar gift under that tree or not. You take, you keep your stained gas money or something. It wasn't, it wasn't exact, it wasn't exact to that, but similar to that. And I know you'll probably watch this vision goddess, but um, she probably didn't say stained gas, but I said stained gas, but I thought that was hilarious because that would be like something I would think and say, and that's just the truth. <laughs> Because when she said that, I was like, damn, she's picking up. I mean, I watch her a lot, so she picks up on me a lot. But <laughs> it was so hilarious. Oh, my God. I thought I was going to fucking die. Vision got us. I thought I was going to fucking die, ma'am. Because that is something I would either say, try very hard in a positive way to say it very tactfully in person, or I would think it. Just saying, just saying. When you said the part about, I don't care about your tree. I don't care about your million dollar stink ass present underneath the tree. You keep your stink ass present. Think about all the times you treated me like trash in the past. Oh, I love it. But anyways, okay, I digress. But my point is that channeling reminds me of that message last night. One of you, oh, at least one of you guys, you're not going to go to your family functions because you know how your family, your stank ass family is, your toxic family is, and you don't want to be a part of toxicity, i.e. stank assness. And she she didn't say stank assness, but I did. And um, you don't want to be around the toxicity. I don't care if there's a $2 gift under there or a $2 million gift under there. People that do that, they try to control people with money. And that's just the truth. With money and items and material items. Keep your stank ass million dollar shit to your fucking self. However you acquired it, illegally or legally. And let me li I'm live my fucking life. And that's just the truth, you know. That's the kind of energy I'm feeling. So, how that resonates? I think you feel the same way is what I'm trying to say. I think you feel the same way. You have a very toxic ass family, and I think they've done some really stank ass shit to you in the past, and you don't want to be a part of it. Um, now, whatever you choose to do, whether you choose to spend it with somebody that's not toxic for you, whether you choose to spend it alone, whether you travel, whatever you choose to do, you're not going to choose to sit, spend it around your stank ass family. I don't care if it's a million dollar present or two dollar present. It's not the thought that counts when they abuse you, exploit you, harass you, humiliate you in the past, and that's just the truth. So that's kind of the energy I feel, whoever you are, that's choosing, going to choose not to visit your family for Christmas functions like me. 
And that's just the truth. Y'all know I'm not going to. You know I fucking ain't. And that's just the truth. Um, I'm not. Now, what am I, what am I going to do? I don't know. But it ain't going to be with my toxic ass family. That's damn true. So another one of you guys is going to do that too. So I'm I'm really I'm I'm proud of you because you're learning to think for yourself and you're making your own decisions. Um, and I will just tell you guys for me. Now, I can only speak for myself, not anybody else, but I haven't spent a holiday with my family, my toxic family, in about, it's been about, uh, I'm trying to think, at least three years. It's been at least three years, if not four, at least three, at least, if not four, and that's just the truth. Someone is getting a huge wake-up call. Someone is getting a huge wake-up call. I'm serious. Um, if that wake up call is about me, it might be about something else. But one of you guys getting a huge wake up call. So I haven't. I'm serious, and I never will. Not another call. Never will I ever be around. When I said I was done with my family, I'm in it. I was done. I don't care if I have ten million dollars in my bank account or one dollar. I don't care if I'm living under a bridge or if I'm living in a mansion. I will never. My free will, I will never be around my family ever again, unless it's a funeral. Unless it's a funeral. And I'm not trying to be dark or gory or whatever. I'm not. It's just that the only time I will choose to be around my family is a funeral, period. Not for a wedding, not for Thanksgiving, not for Fourth of July, not for Christmas, not for anything else except for a funeral, period. I will celebrate the death and I will move on, but not for anything else. Because of the way they have treated me so terribly in the past. And that's just the truth. I tried to reach out for help to, uh, help to them regarding harassment and retaliation about four years ago. And they refused to help me. So after that point, I cut them off. And then my older sister accused me of child abuse in the court of law. So that was another um, slap in the face. So no, never for me. Now I can only speak of myself, not anybody else. But that is my reason. And I mean it. When I say something, I fucking mean it. And that's the truth. And they know I mean it. And that is the truth. You, I tried to get help from you assholes four years ago. You knew I was being harassed, targeted, bullied, and uh, gang stalked. And you chose to let it happen. So, yeah, no. And that's just the truth. But that's just me. But another one of you guys is going to choose um, not to be around your family, too. And, um... I'm proud of you for making your own decisions. Just please make good decisions. Make good, good, healthy decisions for yourself. Whatever you choose to do, please be safe. Okay? That's all I'm asking. Okay? Oh, well, it's not, you know. Free will choices is what I'm trying to say. It's not my business, but I care about you guys is what I'm trying to say. Okay? Let me see if I pick up anything else. I'll pull one of these and then I'm going to close it. Spirit messages here. Creation reverse. Her get another one. Radiance reverse. Power upright. Someone did not believe you were a real psychic, but now they know. Personal reading. Someone did not believe you were a real psychic, but now they know personal reading. So someone did not believe you were, you were a real psychic, but now they know. And I heard personal reading, so I think they got a personal reading done on you, and they know you're now you're real psychic, but they didn't believe you were in the past. I'm picking up a psychic energy here real strong, so you have to plug yourself in where you fit psychic. Somebody didn't believe you were a real psychic. They just didn't. Uh, but, you know, people choose to believe what they want to believe and not believe. And that's just the truth. Like mental mind fuckery. So they didn't, they chose to believe. They didn't want to believe you were a psychic in the past. But 
whoever, and I didn't hear who they went to, but they went to somebody and they paid for the personal reading. So they didn't pull energy themselves. They paid for it um, and paid good money for it and paid good money for it. Yeah, they paid good money for it. So they, it wasn't like, um, I don't feel it was like a $10 read. Um, it was good money, whatever. I didn't hear specifically how much, but it was good money to pay to figure out if you were psychic. Um, but I heard that they know now you are. And they're about to really learn who you are in the spiritual realm really soon. It's about to shock and scare the hell out of them. They laughed at you so bad in the past. And made fun of you so bad in the past. Oh my God. Okay, psychic. So you can be mask or fin psychic, whoever you are, sir, ma'am. But somebody laughed at you and made fun of you so bad in the past. Talked bad and dirty about you so bad in the past to others, I'm presuming. So their social circle, world, what have you, what have you. They didn't want to believe you were psychic, but they paid a shit ton of money to go to somebody professional and good at their job to figure out if you really are psychic because they really want to know the truth. I heard they realized you are, but soon, so they learned it by paying a good, you know, you what you pay for. So they paid good money, really quality over quantity, basically. But they, um, so now they know you are, but they're about to really know inside themselves spiritually in their own spiritual experience. Um, so I, they're about to get a wake up call awakening inside themselves ascension with the awakening inside themselves knowing who you are spiritually through an ascension and awakening process basically and i didn't hear that that's just what that is basically is and i heard it's about to scare the hell out of them and shock them so bad so you know they threw money and a lot of it to figure out the truth and whoever they are they're not poor that's the damn truth but they're about to learn it inside themselves, which is the scariest part. When you, it's like um, truth is stranger than fiction kind of energy. They're about to really know it inside themselves. So, how that resonates and applies. Creation reverse, radiance reverse. Some people that try to block your creativity in the past, theirs has already been blocked and is about to be seriously blocked. Very unhappy energy here. Very angry energy. Because they know if they had you, they could really move things forward, but they cannot have you. Sounds like human slavery. Damn. They know they can't have you. Well, yeah, well, unless you agree, consent and agree, and that's just the truth. Um, we're not into human slavery up in this biatch. It's 2022, and that's just the truth. You can't force somebody's hand, force somebody's will. And if you do, that is illegal and criminal. If you might need to hear that, okay? So their creativity, some has already been blocked. Some is about to be blocked. Um, and this has nothing to do with money. And this has nothing to do with money. So it has nothing to do with money. So I feel they're wealthy or stable and dependable. I mean, not stable and dependable. I think they have money or have like a savings or they have some type of wealth. Maybe they have a lot of wealth. But money's not a factor here. So money's not a factor here. It's the creative juices. It's the invention. It's the creative spark energy. And whoever you are, sir, ma'am, you have that. You add that pizzazz, basically. They don't have it. They don't have it. They have plenty of money, it sounds like, or is getting there with plenty of money, but they don't have what you have in the creative spark, creative juice, and benefit um, department, basically. And I heard it makes them mad. It makes them mad. Basically, they have all this money. They have all this re money and resources and material, but they don't have this, the mindset, the inventive process, the creative juice and spark department like you do i heard basically they want what you have but they they don't have it 
and they want you, but you basically don't want to be around them. And whoever they, I think they might be energy suckers. I didn't hear they were, but I feel that intuitively they might be. And that's why you separated yourself from them or it blocked your energy from them. Keep protecting your energy if this resonates for you. Keep protecting your energy, okay? Because they're radiant regardless. They're pissed. But the thing is, is money don't buy happiness. And this is a good example of it. They have resources. They have materials. They have everything they need. But they don't have happiness. And that's just the truth. You are a very happy person. You are a very happy person. You're a very happy person. Now, I didn't hear if you were wealthy or not wealthy, but I don't, I don't, intuitively, I don't feel you are. And I'm just being for, I don't feel you are, but you're very happy and you're very creative. So I feel you could, excuse me, make shit out of nothing or attempt. Oh, I, yeah, I do. I think you make shit out of nothing is what I think. Um, I think you take the seeds and make them grow. This, this person, I feel you, they have the seeds and they fucking die. Or they don't even have the creative juices to plant the seeds. And I hate to say that, but it's just the truth. <laughs> Not funny, but seriously. A dead tree is about to become significant in one of these people's lives. A rotten tree. For one, a tree is dying. And for one, a plant is about to start dying and dying quickly. Holy God Almighty. Whoa. Okay, so in this uncreative, like, resources, money, wealth, energy, but no happiness or creative spark um a tree has already died a tree is dying and a plant is just about to start dying and dying quickly so dead plants or trees or already dead trees deadness um of plants which also is the creation reversed i think they have a black thumb and let me tell you guys something. I want to I want to share this real quick while we're talking about this. Um, hold on one second. Okay, so you're talking about, now trees and plant, right? In in this uh, category. Hold on one second. Let me go turn the light on. Okay, so we're talking about dead trees and dead plants, right? In this category. Okay, so, and I'm not blaming my roommate, but there was definitely some weird things going on with her. And that's just the truth. She would barely speak to me. She got at the end where she didn't even look me in the eyeballs. And it got really strange. The vibes and energy got really strange with her, especially the past, the last two weeks, especially the last week. Very uncomfortable very uh, very she wouldn't even look me in the eyeballs it was so weird but i say all this because we're talking about the dead plants and dead tree or already dead tree with these uncreative people that have a lot of money and wealth and they probably got it probably through unethical ways i'm presuming but i didn't hear they did but that's what i'm feeling but my point is when she moved in a month ago my Bonsai, which y'all know I've had this bonsai since I worked at American Health Partners, that nursing home, remember? When I first started this channel, I worked at that nursing home, or I just got the job at that nursing home, remember? Because I started this channel March of 2020, I hired in at that nursing home April of 2020, and I worked there for about a year and a half, if y'all remember that. I know it's been a while, but that's just the truth. And that nursing home is about 15 minutes away from here, right? Well, I bought this about two years ago on this channel uh or maybe a year and a half ago but it's been sitting up there ever since right after i bought it maybe it was a year ago something like that but my point is i bought it when i went to that nursing home there's been a couple yellow leaves 
and I've plucked them off and rewatered it and it's come back beautifully, just fine for about however long I've had it, whether it's a year, year and a half, two years, whatever, whatever. Within the course of a month, 30 days, that woman was in my house. It went from a completely healthy plant to this. You tell me. Very dark arts, if you ask me. 30 days, you guys. Look, I have watered it. It's coming back now. But I was like, what the fuck? And I, I mean, excuse my language, but I'm serious. Here, I'm going to show you. Okay, so this one's healthy still. This one's healthy still. This one is damn near gone, as you can see. This one is damn near gone. So two main ones. Look, this one's about, look, it's gone. It was, so two main parts dead within 30 days. And my two little ones are still hanging on. This one is still hanging. Still hanging. I put some, um, I made a little sugar, real sugar concoction and poured it down in there. Because you know the sugar and the carbohydrates to help it perk up. Um, but yeah, look at that. In that 30 days, that woman was in my house. When that woman entered my house, the I showed her the plant. It was completely green. And healthy. This is what I got after 30 days of her living in my house. If anybody doesn't believe dark arts isn't real, here's you a good real world example that it's real. If anybody, I mean, I'm just being for real for real. I know a lot of you guys really do believe in dark arts, and you will understand what I'm talking about as I'm showing you this. 30 days. Don't tell me that woman went on dark arts because she definitely was. And that's just the damn truth. But yeah, I wanted to show that with you, share that with you, you guys. Um, dark arts, it can kill plants. It can kill trees. Is what I'm trying to say. In this aspect, we have a plant in here and a tree that's already died and a tree that's dying, and the plant that's about to die quickly, kind of like that. It only took. I had. I've had that at least a year, if not two years, and I have baby that thing and love that thing, and. It has flourished. 30 days, it's almost destroyed. And that's the time that woman lived in my house. And I'm serious. That's a good example is what I'm trying to say. And she told me she was an earth angel. And she told me this. And she told me that. But the things she told me didn't quite add up. If that makes sense too. So to me, that reminds me of this category. These people have resources and wealth and money. And they don't have to worry about material, but they don't have love and they don't have happiness and they have dying trees or dying dead tree already dead, a tree that's about to die and plants about to die, plant and plants about to die because they're dark. For one particular person, plants are about to start dying all over the place all over the place and they will not come back and they're about to get a huge wake-up call about why they're about to die oh my god and for one one person in this mix plants are about to start growing uh not growing dying all over the place uh soon and quickly and i heard they're not going to come back and whoever is in this mix they're about to figure out why i think it's because they're around a dark person we i mean they've got christian reverse but i mean, radiance reverse you can have all the money in the world, but did you gain your money from legal ways or illegal ways? One needs to ask themselves that. Power upright.
You have already rose. Your strength is beautiful. And you're about to rise even more. You have already rose. Your strength is really beautiful. And you're about to rise even more. And someone wanted you hopped up on medicine. MK Ultra style. But that's about to backfire on them too. Hell no, you won't go. Okay, so you're you you've already rose. This could be spiritually, financially, um, however, um, career wise. Uh, this could be social status, society status. However, that resonates in a plot. Okay, power can be many different aspects, but you've already rose, and you're gonna continue to rise. Whoever you are, whether it's spiritually, society wise, um, career wise, what have you, what have you. And I feel your light side. I definitely think your light side. But I heard someone wanted you hopped up on medication in pay ultrasound. So I think they want you on potent medication. Um, but I heard it's going to backfire on them and it will continue to backfire. So hopefully you refuse potent medication and you go with herbal or holistic med med medicinal treatment if you need medicinal treatment. Uh, for some, I feel they could probably get in your head and say, oh, don't you feel anxious? Don't you think you need medicine? Uh, don't you think you think you need Prozac for that? Or don't you think you need Xanax for that? No. No, I don't. There's, Freemai doesn't know there's holistic medicine out there. There's herbalistic type medicine out there. There's now natural type of medicinal elements out there. That's all natural. I'm all about all natural. Freemai knows me knows that. Okay. But they want you hopped up. MK Ultra style, like Prozac, Xanax, the hard shit. But I heard it's going to backfire on them. Good. Anybody know, doesn't know when it comes to medicine and um, um, medicinal type things and your rights as a patient, you have a right to refuse. You might need to hear that, okay? Coming from RN. Right to refuse, baby. Just saying, just saying. And there's other ways out there, like holistic herbalistic type situations there's many 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 different alternatives than xanax prozac hard harm, harmful shit if you might need to hear that okay they want to control you with money but that's about to backfire too they want to control you with money but that's about to backfire too so they want to control you with money, but that's about to backfire too. Well, it should. And that's just the truth. All right, I'm going to close it here. Um, and whoever you are, I think you can manifest your own money. I think you can manifest your own money. Um, and I don't think you need their spank ass money that I think they gained in illegal senses and probably why their damn trees died or is dying or their plants about to die or some shit. I'm just being for real. I'm nursing mine back to health. 30 days. It only took 30 days for that thing to tank down. And I specifically showed her that tree. Just let everybody know. I did. Because I was so proud of it. I specifically showed her my baby. And then she leaves within 30 days. And then I go over and check my poor plant. And it's about, it's about on death's dying door. I love you guys. Everybody have a wonderful day. And I'm staying.